Welcome to The Mystery of the Missing Fields, stumped by access by permission. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, this little mystery starts at, I was going to say one of our customers, but I think we have actually seen this at multiple customers, uh, especially customers who are big enough that they have to roll out their own security uh, setup and, and settings. And um, what we have seen is that suddenly somebody said, I cannot see this field or I cannot see this action, but, but the guy next to me can see the field. Um, and uh, it, it, it's quite, so a random field, standard base app field suddenly disappears. Suddenly. Um, and the you know the example that kind of triggered me maybe we should do a video about this was on uh, on the purchase order that suddenly the quantity received field disappeared but the user had you know user had access user could do all the things that they could do on the purchase module but the field was suddenly missing um and as you know the title of the video tells that there's there's something called access by permission and what is that um let me show you um so if we go into here is some objects so the first thing i did of course trying to figure out what is going on is that i found myself uh, looking at page 54 uh, the purchase order subform. Subform is the 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 old word because way way back in the in, in the classic client we had forms instead of pages, and when you put a form onto another form that became a subform. So now we guess it's a sub page, but the name of the objects are still named from what they were called uh, back in two thousand and nine. Um, so this is the purchase order subform. If I go look at this and say, well, let me take a look at quantity received. We can see that there's nothing remotely special about this field. Um, and the interesting thing was that some of the other fields that are right next to it, the user could see, and you know, those fields look exactly the same. So what is going on? Well, let's try to take a look at the, the table instead. Let me just go back and find table 39. So this is the purchase line, so I'll, I'll go and find quantity received again. Let me find a field here. Wow, there's a lot. Of, here it is. Quantity received, field 60. We can see that, well, it has a caption, decimal places, and you cannot edit it. Well, that's fine. But it has another thing. Access by permission equal table data purchase receipt header direct. So it has to have direct read access to that table, which means that if the user in this case do not have let's just get the table number here so we know what we're talking about if the user in question do not have read direct read access to the purchase receipt header not even indirect but direct then they're not allowed to see this field so this field is now removed from the ui um and and well one camp hey that's pretty cool that we can we can control the different fields to be shown and not shown depending on what other pieces of system uh, there's access to um on the other hand this is impossible to figure out uh without having access to the source code there's there's simply no way that you can figure out that this field 
is controlled by something. Else. This field has been removed due to lack of security. Um, this is. I don't know if Microsoft are populating these more or users are just now evolving into creating uh, enough complex security on Business Central that is becoming easier. But we have had more and more support calls lately on, on this. So this is not only fields, it can also be actions. It can also be all sorts of, well, fields and action, um, uh, but, but stuff on screen. Uh, and um, and we get more and more support calls on it. And and the only way I know to, to figure out is to go in and look and see. I wonder why, I wonder if there's an access by permission. Um, it's also interesting that it has to be direct. Uh, it cannot be indirect access, um, but, but that's a different question. So, what fields are, are controlled by this? And so let's just stay on the purchase, um, on a purchase line. And so we can go up and see here that expected receipt date. Well, also re uh, purchase receipt header, quantity to receive, apply to item entry. We need read access to the item table. Not to the item entry table, but the item table. Uh, quantity received, that's one we just play. Drop shipment is only shown if the user has direct read access to the drop shipment post buffer table. Um, amount received, not invoiced. So there's lots of things that is dependent on a post receipt header now. See that uh, I see. Uh, partner type only if you have read access to the IC GL account table, not the IC partner table. Um, uh, oh, that might, that might, sorry, that might actually make sense. Uh, IC partner reference, that would be the, the number. Yeah, so that, that kind of makes sense. Uh, let's see, jobs. So, so of course, it's interesting to remove stuff that is is irrelevant. But I, I, I feel that this is also, you know, potentially very production order number requires read access to machine center. Um. Anyway, there's, there's tons of examples of this. Uh, no reason for you to look at me browsing around in, in, in the source code. Uh, so if you find yourself in a situation where a user, hey, this field is gone from that user. We can, why isn't it showing? You know, my money is on access by permission. So go go check that uh, to see if that's not why you, your fields are suddenly missing. And um, when you're done doing that, you can check this video up. It's uh, it's a good one. It's especially chosen by the almighty YouTube algorithm for you. Check it out. Take care. Bye.